where they deposited 34 million on that very minute they removed 22 million in the spotlight for defrauding the tea nursery operators in Chigezi sub-region is Patrick Chichoncho Katabazi, a lawyer with Pathways Advocate. In 2019, Chichoncho's legal firm was contracted by the more than 700 operators to pursue their case in court for the payment of seedling supply to the National Advisory Services, NADS. An agreement shows the value settled on by the parties was 143 billion shillings. This would be paid in installments. The case was referred for mediation and decided in January 2021. Unfortunately, the payment process has turned into a tale of horror because, despite government's releasing of the money, some have died without ever receiving a penny. We lost a colleague, Mr. Francis Ntaho Frank. He got a loan, all his retirement benefits. He, he put money in this project, all the money was taken. He died. His orphans are outside. They were locked outside. The Documents availed to the MPs on the Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises, COSASE, showed that the fraud manifested in two ways, where individual beneficiaries were obligated to sign both the deposit forms and the withdrawal slips without specific figures for withdrawal. And if I remember well, I took less 100 because I don't have bank statement. More than 100 million plus was banked to a certain account which means it was the account of the lawyer or that is called the, side, the brother of the lawyer. No money was paid into the beneficiaries' accounts, though the accountability documents provided to the committee reflect that they were paid. In the case of the MP for Bufumbira South, Alex Niosonga, the documents showed that he received 50 million shillings in two installments. He said he did not get the money. was transferred back to the law firm's account. Meaning there was already a standing order that once this money for all the clients hit the accounts, so much money should go back to the account of the law firm. This is also from the bank statement of Mr. Siraj. So I want you to open up your mind, think outside the box. Because the same money that was going to Moses Kakuru, 150 million, 145 gets back to to Graham, and Graham is your brother. So what is the rationale? The law firm cannot in any way, legally or otherwise, have a standing order on another person's account. Absolutely. That's absolutely impossible. If things are flowing, but now things are not flowing, so all of you are going to be on oath. Clark, please prepare. I, I show and show Katawazi, Patrick. MPs believe there was connivance with a financial institution through which some of the beneficiaries who never possessed accounts with the bank were required to open one. And uh, we had an account, we all had accounts in Istanbul Bank where they paid me 40 million. Afterwards, they said now this money which is coming, if you don't open an account in Centenary Bank, you are not going to get paid. So we are forced to abandon the Stambik account is here, and then we are forced to open this Centenary Bank account. You can put me on record. Katabaz insists that the beneficiaries will pay the full amount of what they were owed. Like uh, Mr. Sraj can confirm, we have not received any complaint of that disparity. Katabazi also denied some of the accountability documents before the committee, but which NADS indicated to have been relied on in the payment of the beneficiaries as provided by the legal firm. He gave you is what we received from uh, Pathways as accountability for the money they received. Mr. Ma Ma Chichoncho and the witnesses were directed to record statements with police detectives at Parliament. This shall be considered in writing the report after the committee wound up the interrogation into the audit queries raised by the Auditor General on NADS in the report for the financial year 2021-22. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. <laughs>